The Partnership on Energy is one of the eight areas of cooperation in the Africa-European Union Joint Strategy and First Action Plan adopted at the Lisbon Summit on December 2007. It is within this framework that the African Union Commission and the European Commission held a high-level discussion on 8 September 2008 on the implementation of the Africa-European Union Partnership on Energy at the headquarters of the African Union Commission in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Speaking while chairing the high-level discussion on energy partnership, the Deputy Chairperson of the African Union Commission, His Excellency Erastus Moencher, loaded the initiative while reiterating the commitment of the African Union Commission to facilitate the implementation process. According to the African Union Commissioner for Infrastructure and Energy, Dr. Elham Mahmoud Ahmed Ibrahim, the current context of increasing global energy demand and rising energy prices provides an additional stimulus for fast progress in the implementation of the AU-EU Energy Partnership. I'm particularly satisfied about the establishment of EU-Africa Energy Partnership as part of the EU-Africa Joint Strategy and its first action plan adopted during Lisbon uh, Summit last December. And, and I'd like to underline Line, the importance of this energy partnership, particularly in the current context of increasing energy prices. The establishment and <laughs> operationalization of uh, the African Petroleum Fund should be supported by all development partners, and particularly by Euro European Union member states and the EU Commission and oil and gas companies operating in this field. The two parties define concrete activities that need to be undertaken jointly as well as discuss a draft roadmap for their implementation. These include the promotion of regional integration of electricity markets in Africa, enabling a favorable environment to enhance private investment, developing energy interconnection between Africa and Europe, launching a renewable energy cooperation program, and supporting the reduction of gas flaring and venting, amongst others. Mr. Abubakari Baba Musa, Director of Infrastructure and Energy, is very important uh, partnership on uh, energy. We held here on 8th September, we organized uh, jointly a high level partner, a high level meeting. The objective of this uh, high level meeting is first of all, to give clear orientation and guideline to, for preparation of a roadmap and plan of action. This was the second objective was to define priorities which we need to implement in the plan of action and the third was to set up a government, governance structure for implementation of this partnership. The African Union and the European Union have identified access to modern energy services in Africa as equally important for economic development as well as reaching the Millennium Development Goals. Mr. Louis Michel, European Commissioner for Development and Humanitarian Aid, throws more light on the partnership. The special strategy Europa, Europa, uh, Europe uh, Africa. Uh, this is in fact uh, a first important step uh, on a issue is, which is so important for both partners. And I uh, sincerely thank, of course, the African Union, but also my colleague uh, uh, Pibalt. Uh, we immediately reacted positively uh, to the decision of the, the Lisbon Summit to implement concretely 
a very strong partnership uh, in the energy uh, sector, which is so important. We all know that Africa has a very strong potential uh, in energy and that it is important to uh, exploit this. And uh, we are, of course, on the side of the African friends in order to help them to exploit uh, in the largest way uh, this potential. During this first high-level dialogue, the two parties agreed on action to be taken in the next two years in order to speed up the implementation of the Africa-EU Energy Partnership. Mr. Andris Piebalds, European Commissioner for Energy, highlights the areas of focus in the partnership. I emphasize three things because I am, my colleague said practical. Electricity is a crucial importance and we are working for interconnection for the cooperation between power grids and particularly taking in, into account five pools, electricity pools in, being in Africa. Second, renewables. Um, Africa has, a, I think, with the biggest potential of renewable energy. So Africa has all sources in abundance. And the good news that happened in the latest years is that technologies are there. So the technology should be applied for solar, for hydro, for wind, for biomass, for wave energy. So there is a huge potential that should be tapped. And last but not least, it's important also to look on the big infrastructure project for the fossil fuels that are also in Africa. The signing of a joint declaration on the Africa-European Union Energy Partnership crowned the occasion. The signing ceremony also laid the first stone of the ambitious bilateral energy cooperation between Africa and Europe.